Hi everyone. I'm going to figure out what is wrong with my oven. I have a Kenmore Elite dual fuel oven and the problem I'm having is that when I turn it on bake it actually never warms up. It gets to about 175 and sort of sits there. So in doing my some of my troubleshooting I found out that the lower burner here, or excuse me, the lower bake element is not heating up at all. I can hear clicks from the relays in the back but uh, it's not warming up. So I'm going to do some research online and then uh, take it apart and see if I can fix it. Hi everyone, I just wanted to share with you the repair I'm doing on my Kenmore Elite oven. Uh, it, the problem it was having, or it is still having I should say, is the baking element was not heating up. I turned it on bake and the oven would sort of get up to 175 and sit there, it wouldn't go any higher. So I did some research online and everything I saw pointed to that it was this controller board for the oven. This part number is 31801010102 and I apologize if it's blurry here. So what I did was I took my oven apart and I pulled this off of, pulled it out of the back of the oven and this is the uh, control board itself and if you can see on here there are two relays. This relay right here is is what energizes the baking element and this relay energizes the broiling element. So everything I looked at online pointed to this relay right here, the baking element. So I took it apart and I, I pulled it out of the back and tipped it up. And right away, I saw this problem right here. It looks like a, a burned out connection on the baking relay. So what I'm gonna do, and I saw there's another YouTube video of a guy who did this. I'm going to just take some solder and touch that up and see if that fixes the problem because right now that doesn't look good and I it's hard to tell if it's a going to be a problem long term or not where we'll do this again but it looks like it it wasn't a good solder joint it just burned out the relay itself seems to be energizing so everything on the relay seems okay it's just this right here is not making a good contact so I'm going to solder that right now and touch it up and see if that fixes it as you can see I'm just waiting for more my soldering iron to warm up this is the uh, the controller. While we're waiting for that to warm up, let me just tell you real quick here. So this piece, this board was actually sandwiched together. And what I had to do was I had to pull out these black tabs and pry this up in order to get this board out so that I could look at the back of it here and look at the solder joints. So when it's in the oven, it's closed up together like this. Um, so I had to pry it apart. So I just need to fiddle with it a little bit. I think you may end up breaking a couple of the black plastic pieces and getting this apart, but hopefully it's not going to matter once you uh, once you fix that and get it all back together. So while we're, we're just waiting for my soldering iron to heat up here. Okay, as you can see, hopefully you can see, I've touched up that solder joint right there by my finger. And uh, we'll see if that makes a difference. I'm going to pop all this back in my oven right now. So as you can see, I popped everything back in for the circuit board on this uh, oven controller. And uh, it wasn't too bad. I was able to get it, get it back in. So now I'm going to put it back in my oven. So here's the, the back of my oven. And let me just show you the front. This is a Kenmore Elite dual fuel. And it's got the warming oven on the left here and the main oven. It's got gas on the top and an electric oven in it for baking. So this is where I took the controller out of the back. Now keep in mind when you before you disconnect all these wires, write them down or take a picture so that you remember where everything goes. And this is the controller and this is going to go back up in here. So let me just uh, stop the video for a minute here and get screwing here. Okay, there's my controller wired back up again. Uh, make sure 
like I said earlier, before you take all the wires off, that you either take a picture or write down where everything goes. But it's pretty simple. It's pretty much plug and play. The other thing I wanted to mention was before you take any of this apart, make sure you unplug it. You see, I've got mine unplugged, just to uh, make sure, just to be safe. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. I'm going to turn on the oven. And we're going to see if the baking element now heats up. So we'll come around to the front. Oh, first, I got to plug it in. After I just told you, push the oven in a little bit. Set the core to reach. Yeah, I got to clean back here. All right. Plug it back in. Now the moment of truth. Select bake. Select bake. Now we'll see if it works now. I'm going to hear the other one to see if this is heating up. See if it's coming on. Hard to tell. Hey, it's working. It's working. So I think I fixed it. We're gonna let it run for a few minutes and just see if it warms up. Okay, I'm back, and it looks like the oven is now working just fine. It's heating up. You can see the baking elements glowing nicely. So I think I fixed it and saved myself a lot of money. I think that board itself, if you were to buy it, is around $150 refurbished and around $175 new. And to get a service technician out here, it's probably a couple hundred dollars. So all up, I probably sell, might save myself 400 bucks. Now the one thing that's worrisome is why would that this relay have a burned out connection? Normally that's not supposed to happen. So. I'll have to keep an eye on it, but uh, what I might do is buy a couple of these relays as spares. They're only $3 on Mouser. Um, so just to have a couple in case I need to do this again, I can just replace the whole relay. But looks like we're good right now.